Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about what we do with this little square. Well, it used to be really fun, but Brian doesn't like it when I beat him up like that anymore. <laughs> so we've got to just use, some, use the square for something out in the field, I guess. What we do is we throw this thing down, and then we see how many seeds are in this one foot square. And that determines harvest loss for us. This is one of the most important things that farmers have to know. So we wanted to discuss this during our Farm Basics time because if you're not a farmer, we want you to understand that you know it's not just as simple as running the combine out there and all the grain ends up in the combine tank and it all goes to market. There's a lot of seed that can end up on the ground and we want to talk a little about how to determine when it's a real big concern and how to prevent that loss. Well coming out of 2012 it's the right time to talk about this brand because last fall we had more corn not make it into the grain tank than I've ever seen in my whole life. The corn was dry at harvest time, Too the ears dry. were breaking apart and there were kernels flying everywhere as the combine was running through the field and we had all kinds of harvest loss. Now a lot of guys said, oh you know it doesn't look that bad, there aren't that many kernels out there, but it doesn't take that many kernels to add up to a bushel. So the whole thing is we were telling corn farmers the ideal moisture to harvest their corn is 18 to 20 percent. When that corn has a little moisture in it then it stays on the ear a little bit better, it goes into the combine a little bit better. When it gets too dry, like 15% or less, it will what we would call shatter and you'll have a lot of loss at the head of the combine and the corn will just fall on the ground. And it only takes two corn seeds in this square and a farmer has a one bushel loss. So let's say in a lot of cases last year, we were finding 50 corn seeds in a one foot square. That's 25 bushels per acre. If you multiply that times let's call it $7 a bushel. Wow, Darren, we got a lot of dollars on the ground. You bet, you bet, we sure do. And, and the other thing is you think about if there's a whole ear that happens to lay out there here and there, well that ear may have lots and lots of kernels. It may have 30 or 40 rows of kernels by 12 to 16 kernels around. So you multiply those out and wow, there's some big time losses when you're dropping ears out in a field as well. So here are the important numbers that a farmer has to know. It's two kernels of corn, four soybeans, or 16 kernels of wheat in a one foot square. Those are the numbers that would equal one bushel loss. And so it's really just as simple as throwing this down in a few spots of the field, counting the number of kernels there, averaging out over those different spots and seeing what a farmer has for harvest loss. Well, the other thing would be look at where that loss is coming from. Let's say you're running through right. the field with a combine and behind the combine you say, wow, I've got three or four bushels of loss that are somehow ending up in my field. What do I need to adjust on that combine? Is it at the head that I'm losing it? But Is it during separation? It What's could, going on? It could be even before the head. So that's that's why we would encourage farmers to stop the combine on a regular basis, go out in front of the combine where they haven't even harvested yet and throw this down and see what they have for loss. Then right at that head, they want to just back the combine up, let's say 10, 15 feet and throw it right down where the head was and then also to check behind the combine. So then they can separate out where the actual loss is coming from. Well, you know, part of the deal too, Brian, is that farmers are in such a hurry at harvest time because really where we farm, you never know when it's going to snow. It could snow any day. We're out trying to harvest our corn and we look at the weather forecast and wow, it's going to start getting cold. There's a chance of precipitation. That could be in the solid form that we may have to scoop and, and we don't really want to have corn out in the field with snow hanging on it. We end up with a lot of problems that way. So farmers are in a hurry. And you know, it's easy to just let that combine keep rolling, but we're just encouraging people to get out do some checking and take a look. And if you can't remember those numbers, there may be an easier way to figure out well, exactly what your harvest loss. We do have a harvest loss app for your iPhone or your iPad and just go to the app store and download that free app and then just punch in whatever your average number is and it'll automatically tell you how many bushels you have for loss out in your field. Well, harvest loss is certainly a bad thing for farmers, but one other thing that can be troublesome is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 